Let's turn this flat material into this material with a lot of depth and detail using nanite displacement. To get started, we need to make sure that nanite tessellation is working with our Unreal. And in order to do that, we need to add some scripts. So go ahead and open up your content browser and right click on content and then go to show in Explorer. Go one back on the top row and double click config, then double click default engine. And then we'll see some scripts here. Go ahead and find script engine render setting. And these two scripts I will put in the description below. Go ahead and copy and paste them right under the render settings. And then go ahead and save them and close and restart your engine to make sure that the scripts are loaded in to your Unreal scene. And now we can go ahead and get started in creating a nanite displacement material. So I'm gonna just create another box here and I'm gonna hit accept. And now go ahead and find a material that you'd like to displace. I found this old log wall in Quixel Bridge and I think it's perfect because right now it's looking pretty awful flat and adding some roundness to it will really give it the dimension that I want. So I'm gonna right click in here and add a new material and I'm gonna name it M underscore log underscore dis. I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna hit double click to open it. I'm gonna drag and drop it into its new browser. And then I'm gonna add these textures as well. So I'm gonna add this texture to the base color, the blue one to the normal. And then the last one goes in a couple places. The red is going to connect to the ambient occlusion. The green is going to connect to the roughness and the blue is going to connect to the displacement. But first we need to select this material node and type in tessellation and go ahead and check enable tessellation. This will create the displacement channel in our material node and then go ahead and drag the blue to the displacement. Also with the material node selected, if you type displacement in here, this magnitude button will control the depth of the bump for the texture. So I'm going to make this 15 to start and hit apply. And so now when I go back to my level, if I add the material right away, it's not going to work. And what we need to do is select our static mesh and make sure the enable nanite support is checked. Then when we exit out of this and hit yes, go back to our level, we can see that the nanite is taking place. Now we're running into a little issue where there's some holes. So I'm just gonna work in this modeling mode to fix that. So go to this model button here, select polygroup edit. I'm gonna select the face. I'm just gonna delete the top because this log cabin doesn't really need a roof. The roof will be a different material. So I'm gonna hit accept and now go back to polygroup edit, deselect the face and select all the edges. And under edge edits here, select bevel and I'm making it a bevel distance of 10, subdivisions of three, and a round weight of one. Then I'm gonna hit accept action and accept again. And now before I rework the UVs, I'm gonna add a subdivision to eliminate more of the holes that are appearing in the displacement. So here my values are subdivision level three, subdivision scheme, loop, and normal compilation interpolate. And then I'm gonna hit accept and now we're getting some crazy UVs. So let's go ahead and click this UV button and click on project UVs. You can change the projection type to whatever sort of static mesh you're working with. I am using a box, so I have it at a box. Then you can change the dimensions till you're happy with the size of your texture. And I'm just gonna raise this up a little bit so it's ending at a log. And then I'm gonna hit accept. And now we can see that there's not really any holes going on and I'm pretty happy with my displaced material. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot. I have other tutorials on my channel if you want to check them out. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.